Hi, this is Piyush Prakava and I have an interesting case to share with you. Let's start by reviewing this rotating FDG PET CT scan. This is a great case because it shows a rare pathology and also several areas of physiologic uptake. So this is a great example of brown fat uptake, which is seen in the supraclavicular regions, posterior neck and posterior intercostal regions. This is a representative transaxial fused image showing intense uptake in the right and left supraclavicular regions corresponding to fat attenuation on the CT. There is soft tissue density in the anterior mediastinum with mild FDG uptake. This is physiologic uptake in the thymus. And also there is symmetric uptake in the breast tissue seen here. This patient's primary is a cardiac angiosarcoma, which is FDG avid and seen as a hypermetabolic tumor here. Now, uh, to quickly review cardiac tumors, 75% of them are benign. The most common benign cardiac tumor in adults is a cardiac myxoma. The most common location being in the left atrium. They are typically incidentally diagnosed, but they can cause arrhythmias and embolic events. They are associated with multiple endocrine neoplasia. The most common benign cardiac tumor in children is a rhabdomyoma, which is more frequently seen in left ventricle. They may be multiple, they are associated with tuberous sclerosis and frequently spontaneously regress. 25% of the cardiac tumors are malignant, the most common being angiosarcomas, like in this patient. The most common location is the right atrium and their prognosis is poor because metastatic disease is frequently present at the time of presentation. Now, uh, good for this patient that they didn't have any metastatic disease and this uh, right atrial cardiac angiosarcoma was resected. Here is a companion case, another uh, benign tumor which shows a uh, mild FDG uptake. Let's start by looking at the rotating image. So in the left lower chest wall, there is this focus of FDG uptake. And in the right lung, there is diffuse FDG uptake. The infrascapular region is the site of a characteristic tumor called elastofibroma dorsi, and we see hypermetabolic focus here, which shows contrast enhancement on the CT component of the PET CT, which was performed with IV contrast. And there is diffuse mild uptake in left or uh, the right uh, lower lobe atelectasis. So elastofibroma dorsi is typically seen in females uh, aged 65 to 70 years. Um, it's typically asymptomatic and frequently incidentally seen on imaging. On CT, there is an enhancing, ill-defined soft tissue mass in the infrascapular region. About 60% of the times, um, this is bilateral uh, as a finding. And on FDG PET CT scan, it may show mild to moderate FDG uptake. So two cases showing benign uptake, a rare, rare cardiac angiosarcoma, and a benign tumor called elastofibroma dorsi in a characteristic infrascapular region. Thank you for watching.